mere coincidence that you were given Red's kinship stone, and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. I'm so glad you're still alive. I thought I'd never see you again. Blessing emerge. Quick, hurry! We don't know if it's the right monster. Our mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic power. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. Let's go hunting! Our world is not headed for disaster, as you say. The Exalted One's awakening is simply the first step towards the birth of a brand new world. Everything will be destroyed to be born anew. We're going to finish the work that Red started. We won't let you awaken it. 
I get it that you want to protect Ratha. But all you're doing is making him suffer. Ratha here is the one paying the price for your selfish obsession with the Nergigante. Let's go, Rathi! Fire! It may be impossible to save the world without Ratha's help. Bonds of friendship between riders and hunters. Looks like the children really are our future. Look it up! Understood! I won't miss! The creature wanders restlessly through the darkness. Silver light illuminates the land and the mountains. And with an entranced roar, it shows its true form. We shall be in port soon. This is our outpost, El Garden. I present the Hunter from Kamura. Humble greetings. All right, everyone! Please don't! Here, I'm merely a quest receptionist.
something odious. These creatures consume life. Those who let themselves be lured into the trap will be whisked away by a swift game, the embodiment of darkness, as they are slowly drained of their life. The darkness will show itself, basking in moonlight. On my honor as a knight, I will end you. We must bring peace back to Kumura and the kingdom! Got that fire inside you, old Gallius. You do as well, good elder. What do you say? Full steam ahead. falls into chaos, the archdemon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. 
They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think.
Ah, humble greetings, dear hunters. I am glad to see that you are all enjoying your life in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Today, I, Dame Fiorain, have come here to impart some new information on you all. Without further ado, let us have a look at the latest trailer. to join you on your quest. Mission time, let's move out. Happy hunting! You're done for! Looks like another very enticing update. I have high hopes for this one. Free Title Update 3, aka version 13, will be available on November 24. Now, let us have a look at all of the new content that will be added in version 13, shall we? Three new monsters will be added to version 13. Chaotic Gore Magala, Risen Tiastra, and Risen Kushala Da Ora. Hmm, looks like we will have our hands full. Chaotic Gore Magala and two Risen Elder Dragons. We are in for quite a fight. I suggest you take some rest, eat well, and get prepared. Gormagala are creatures that continuously shed their skin until they grow into Shigaru Magala. Sometimes, however, the process fails along the way and they develop into a deformed variant known as Chaotic Gormagala. Perhaps because of their ambiguous growth, they are known to possess attacks of both Gore and Shigaru Magala. Occasionally, they show expressions of intense agony so I can't help but feel sorry for them. I've received reports that two new Risen Elder Dragons have been sighted recently. Tiastra and Kushala Daora have overcome the affliction and are even more menacing than their regular counterparts. When their anger reaches its peak, they go into their Risen state and there's no telling what devastating attacks they'll unleash. Beware. Chaotic Gore Magala will be available at Master Rank 10 or higher, and Risen Teostra and Risen Kushala Da Ora quests will be unlocked at Master Rank 120 or higher. 
Again, their strength must not be underestimated, but I'm sure their materials will yield some valuable new weapons, armor, and skills. So at least there's a silver lining to the clouds. I have to say that with all these powerful monsters running amok, both Elgato and Kimura are extremely fortunate to have you around. I hope you will continue to lend us your strength. I have been informed A7 Star Anomaly Quest will be added. They include a variety of fearsome monsters, such as Flaming Espiness, Scorned Magnamalo, and Seething Basil Geese. Anomaly Investigations will have their cap raised to level 200, and now you'll be able to lower the level on quests you possess. Weapons will also receive new Augment Categories, and there will be a new way of augmenting armor for curious crafting as well. You'll be able to pick from Defense or Skills, so you may find it easier to get the stats you want. Ah. Uh. Speaking of equipment, what is your favorite main weapon? Just between you and me, I've been thinking of learning the hammer recently. Or this sleepy bear hammer, to be exact. It's so cute! Oh, if I take this big fluffy weapon with me on my hunts, I can just see myself smiling all day! Uh, never mind any of that. As leader of the Order, I have no need for such things. Besides, I am a master of the sword and shield. It doesn't behoove someone of my stature to think about sleepy bears and big cuddly weapons that you just want to snuggle up with. <clears throat> As I was saying, that kind of behavior is inappropriate for a knight. <laughs> no cutesy weaponry for me. Uh, now it's time for more info. Word has it that in version 13, the follower quests which allow you to bring your friends from Kumura and Elgato will be expanded. Hmm, let's see. You will now be able to bring followers with you on almost all Master Rank quests, as well as Anomaly quests and Anomaly investigations. Oh my, this is quite exciting! You'll unlock more followers as you complete follower quests. So if you haven't done so yet, now is the time to complete a few of those, so you'll have more options to choose from when setting out on a quest. Going on quest with your close friends? Oh, I think my sister Rondine would find this all quite romantic. Followers used to be restricted to specific quests, but now you'll be able to take them almost anywhere. Quite heartening! Version 13 will also introduce new paid DLC, such as gestures, stickers, new BGM, Chiche and Bahari player voices, and even a Hinoa layered armor set. The lineup of layered weapons introduced in version 12 will be expanded as well. Um, such as the Stuffed Monster series, based on a variety of monsters for all 14 weapon types. You can buy each weapon separately or all of them in a discounted set. Oh, can I take these cute, cuddly weapons with me as well? What's the one for sword and shield? A Zen Ogre? Oh, that's quite lovely! Oh, exquisite even! This is a good opportunity to try out some other weapons too! Excellent! Looks like there will be more event quests as well! Make sure to try them all, as there's always some fun rewards, like equipment, stickers, poses, and various other things! On top of that, there will be a new character voice called Kagami, as free DLC as well. So this Kagami, he's the leader of our Royal Secret Service, which explains why I hardly ever see him, let alone talk to him. 
He's another enthusiastic dual blades wielder, and he's an old friend of Master Atsushi's, actually. I've heard many stories about him. I look forward to actually hearing his voice. Make sure you don't miss out. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will receive more free updates after version 13 in 2023. Version 14 is planned for winter 2023 and will contain an elder dragon and a powered up monster. Hmm, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Apparently, there's even a version 15 coming in spring of 2023. Don't know much about that yet, except that it will add more monsters. We'd better get mentally prepared for that one. In any case, Looking forward to more hunts with you, the Fierce! Alright, recap time! Free Title Update 3, that is version 13, will release on November 24th. And there will be more updates in 2023. I hope you look forward to more information on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Hope to see you again soon, Hunters, until we meet again! Admiral! Oh, Admiral! Did you hear the news? There's going to be lead weapons that look like really cute stuffed monster toys! Oh, my beloved sword and shield are fashioned after a Zen ogre, and you wouldn't believe how adorable it is!